What is precalculus? Precalculus is a mathematical course to prepare students for high school or college calculus. Thus, this course acts as a foundation for calculus. Precalculus can have various structures depending on the student's career. The 11th grade students usually take the precalculus course, while in 12th grade they do advanced calculus. For instance, students who want to pursue engineering and medicine learn conic, Euclidean, vectors topics, etc. In the finance field, they will learn about matrices and linear algebra. Origin of precalculus, this course gives you a mathematical background before studying calculus. On the other hand, calculus is a mathematics branch that handles properties of derivatives and integrals of functions through summation methods. So, in simpler terms, calculus determines solutions systematically and through reasoning. You can study several calculi, such as propositional logic, probabilities, integral, differential, etc. However, all this calculus references the calculus of Isaac Newton and Gottfried. Other scholars have also reviewed and written books to aid students in understanding calculus concepts. Seeking precalculus help is necessary, especially if you don't have background knowledge of these concepts. If you study calculus without this knowledge, it will prove difficult for you. However, it's best to report to your college first and learn whether you require precalculus help. Some colleges offer placement exams to gauge the depth of calculus concepts. Check out our math article if you need more math homework help. Why do students struggle with precalculus homework? Precalculus students tend to struggle in the coursework and exams due to the following limited resources, lack of adequate learning materials like textbooks, online tutorials, and lack of guidance from teachers makes the subject challenging. Weak foundation in algebra, precalculus builds on algebra concepts, so precalculus will be challenging for you if you don't have algebra skills. High workload. Precalculus is demanding, with lots of content to cover. This workload can be overwhelming to students and affect their performance. Poor study habits. Students with poor study habits have higher chances of struggling in precalculus. Poor grasping skills. Lack of understanding of precalculus concepts like formulas will make you fail. You need to understand how to apply the formulas and solve problems. Tips for taking precalculus assignments As a student, always ensure you apply these tips for your assignments, read the assignment instructions carefully, work on all your problems immediately after class when you can still remember all the concepts, always work through the questions stepwise, even if you don't get the correct answer. Seek help from your teachers or tutors when stuck. Give online resources and tools for precalculus students some different online resources and tools can assist you in precalculus. Symbolab, a tool that allows you to solve equations, plot graphs, and learn step by step problem solving processes. Purple Math, they have lessons, tutorials, and problem solving tips for your assignments. Khan Academy provides free tutorials and practice exercises for various math courses, including precalculus, YouTube. There are channels dedicated to precalculus tutorials through instructional videos and explanations. Homework Market offers all precalculus solutions through online tutorials, instructional videos, solve practice problems, and assignment tips. Preparing for precalculus exams. If you are studying precalculus, you can pass as long as you are keen to grasp the content. Therefore, use this precalculus assignment. Help guide to learn tips on how to pass precalculus exams. 1. Create pre-class study routine. As you finalize your high school studies, you realize that concept gets challenging daily. You have many subjects to study, and it's hard, like math and science. Therefore, it's best to learn before class starts. Review what you will learn in class and complete a few questions before the lesson. You will have an easy time 
during the lesson, since you studied the concept. In addition, it will be easy to master the tactics and understand precalculus. 2. Keep practicing, practice makes perfect, always apply this strategy. After the class, do precalculus quizzes, they will help you practice and become an expert. Math is simple for those who practice. A topic that seems more rigid initially will become easier, thus motivating you to handle even complicated ones. If you are stuck while practicing, video call our tutor and find accurate precalculus answers. Then, you will enjoy our affordable and quality precalculus homework help. 3. Believe in yourself. The most extraordinary step to passing math is creating that inner drive you can make it. It will help if you motivate yourself for you to pass. Ask yourself why you are learning the subject. Maybe you need to be a medic or an engineer, so you need the math skills to succeed. Thus, the drive to pursue that admirable career will push you to practice and understand. 4. Pay attention to understanding concepts. It may feel overwhelming to take a precalculus course in a short period. You have a lot of content to grasp and essential formulas to remember. To help boost your memorization, you should learn to understand all key concepts, like formulas. Again, find help in the precalculus quizzes for greater attention in the course. Also, be proactive in class and make notes on various topic examples given. These notes will always be a reference if you get stuck while doing homework. Also, you can use the notes as revision materials for your exams. 5. Do extra exercises. Apart from class homework, it's best to go the extra mile. Always ensure you have more workload to practice on many homework problems. This strategy challenges your mind and helps you grasp more precalculus tips. Remember to focus more on the topic that you have struggled with in the past. Then, Practice those questions, whether you are on that topic or not. Of course, you can always seek help from your teacher or classmates. Are there precalculus tutors near me? If you ask yourself this question and need help from a tutor, the answer is yes. 6. Research on alternative formulas. Explore alternative and easy methods on a topic that you find challenging. You can learn much from the internet with videos, quizzes, and even educative forums. Use various ways to get the correct answers. If necessary, hire our tutors to teach you extra tips on handling precalculus questions. What are the applications of precalculus in real life? Below are some examples of where to apply precalculus in real life and offer solutions. These applications relate to why math is important in life. Environmental science, it applies precalculus to model natural phenomena. For example, it helps study population growth and the spread of diseases. Also, it helps calculate population levels and analyze climate data. Logarithmic functions assist in handling radioactive decay and carbon-14 dating. Also, this function relates to seismic waves and applies in analyzing the earthquake strength, art and design, artists use proportion, symmetry, and scale concepts of precalculus. They need precalculus knowledge to create beautiful sculptures, medicine, precalculus helps interpret data such as dosage, growth rates, and spread of diseases. The equation of logical growth aids in examining the spread of illness, sports and athletics, coaches and athletics require precalculus principles. It provides insights into angles of movement and analyzing statistics. Navigation, navigation systems involve the calculation of angles, positions, and distances. All these activities apply precalculus principles, statistics, precalculus helps you understand probability, cumulative distribution functions, and interpretation of data. Which topics are covered in precalculus? Precalculus 
has many topics that are grouped into the following branches. 1. Algebraic concepts. Algebraic deals with symbols and the rules for manipulating these symbols to solve equations, polynomial functions and ratios, inequalities and absolute values, functions and properties, exponential and logarithmic equations. It comprises algebraic operations such as subtraction, multiplication, addition, and division. We handle elementary, linear, and advanced algebra for all levels. In the event you get stuck in any of these concepts, get our algebra homework help, too. Analytical geometry. Analytical geometry is a branch of mathematics that combines algebra and geometry. It deals with studying geometric shapes and figures in the Cartesian coordinate system. Conic sections, these are curves that are formed by intersecting a plane with a cone. These curves are parabolas, ellipses, hyperbolas, and circles. Cartesian coordinate system, equations of lines and circles. 3. Trigonometry, it refers to the study of triangles and their angles. The topics include trigonometric graphs and properties, trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, trigonometric identities and equations, trigonometric form of complex numbers. 4. Sequence and series. This branch deals with ordered lists of numbers and the summation of these numbers. Sequence and series are important in mathematics. Calculus number theory, and discrete mathematics. It's also applied to real-world problems like financial mathematics, physics, and computer science, geometric sequence and series, infinite series, arithmetic sequences and series. 5. Exponential and logarithms. These concepts are related, and they deal with exponent properties and their inverses. They are fundamental topics in sciences like engineering and finance. Loss of exponents, logarithmic functions and properties, exponential growth and decay. 6. Polar coordinates and complex numbers. Polar and complex numbers are related concepts used in physics and engineering. The main components of polar coordinates are radius, r, and angle. Complex numbers occur with real and imaginary parts, polar coordinates and graphs, complex numbers and operations, the De Moivre's theorem, 7. Matrices and determinants, these are fundamental concepts in linear algebra that deal with vectors and linear transformations. These topics are applied in computer science, engineering, and economics, basic matrix operations, determinants and their properties. 8. Discrete mathematics. Topics in this branch include number theory, logic, graph theory, set theory. We offer discrete math help in all the above issues.